Bible is talking about alcohol. The Bible says that, like today, missing message, your body is the temple of the Lord. Who saw every God that do what? Destroy that temple. The Lord shall destroy it. Everything that will affect this your body natural, negatively, the Lord will punish you because of that. Uh, all these alcohol that contain a um, uh, chemical, chemical that can destroy your body. It can affect your body. It can make you to suffer cancer. It can make you to suffer disease. It can weaken your kidneys. Eh? When you bring leader, go to market the buying leader of animals. Buy any animal's leader. Come back. Come and buy all these hogs. Buy it on that, on that leader. That animal's leader. See the condition of that leader. Go and buy it tomorrow. So that thing is, is due to that leader. By the time the human being is drinking it, the same condition of that liver of animal you call that alcohol is also the condition of the heart and the liver of that individual. And this man that come into the world have an assignment God wants him to fulfill. Amen. So now, the man is covered, but that natural vine did not contain chemical. Natural vine did not do what? Contain chemical. It is very heavy to body. Because if you don't have that, that physical, that chemical that can destroy body. Do you discover that our early days fathers, they live longer than these modern days? Because they're based on natural something. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, do you see minerals? Do you see all these minerals? Eh? That are destructive to your body more than alcohol. Because one of the bottles of the mineral, you are consuming like more than 10 to 24 creams of sugar. Imagine when you bring one sugar. My dear, if I give you three creams of sugar, can you lick it? You cannot lick it. But when you drink one mineral, you will make like 24. And at the end, some ignorant Christians, they say it is righteousness. You are dying, you know. You are destroying your body. You are dying. Some people do not understand scripture. They are not dying. Let me balance this thing very well. So now, man is not permitted to leave his head. But woman should do what? Leave their head. The Bible said that when a woman leave her head, that that hair has covered, that the hair stand as a cover over her head. Let's go there. First Corinthians chapter eleven. We are we are explaining gospel. God don't want us to go astray. Amen. First Corinthians eleven. Verse. I want to start first, verse 4. Every man who prays or prophesies with his head covered, dishonored his head. But every woman who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered, dishonors her head. See me, this is my head. As, as I am now, my head is here. Is it covered? No. Is not covered. Let's go to verse 14. Are we there? Let's go there. Okay. Okay. Verse 14. Does not the does not the very nature of things teach you that if a man has long hair, it is a disgrace to him. Nature told you that if a man has long hair, it's a disgrace to that man. But that if a woman has long hair, it is her glory. For long hair is given to her as a covering. Her long hair is given to her as what? As a covering. Because the Bible says that the woman should not leave her head uncovered. So she will leave. Now, her, her long hair is given to 
you have? Who gave you to her? Who gave you to her? God. Her long hair is given to her as what? As her own covering. So that she can stand it and praise to God. Hello? So that she can do what? And stand and praise to God. And pray to God. And prophesy. Her hair is covered. But there is a balance here. African mentality is, is very, very different. And the, if God is sending you to Africa, there are some times you make yourself uncomfortable. Not because it's a sin if you do otherwise, but because you want to win them for Christ. I was supposed to say, when I go to Rome, I behave like Romans. When I go to Jew, I behave like so Jew. He said, I am doing those things that I may win them for Christ. Amen. <laughs> so, if you go to Rome, you behave like Romans. You go to Jew, you behave like Jews. Why? That you may win them for Christ. As you see me now, am I wearing necklace? If I wear a necklace now, is he a sin? No. Huh? Is he a sin? No. no. We have discovered that leaving your hair open as a woman, as long as you have hair, the Bible did not say you are committing sin. The Bible said that that hair is covered. That hair is covered. That is what Bible says. I'm saying not what pastors are preaching. I'm not after what pastors are preaching. Some people will condemn it. I'm not after that. But the question is this. If you want to win soul for Christ, that is a way you should dress. That is why I say it's no more that it will be written. It is not that our environment as an Africa, that is a way you live. Nobody will value the church. Nobody will do as if this is the house of God. Eh? For that reason, we bring the, what they call morality. The one that are covering are not committing sin. The one that are not covering are not committing sin. But the problem is that ladies have problems naturally. That they will now go and look for one kind of hair that will distract past yourself. They will look for one kind of hair. They will plate it and this one will do like this. Do the other one in face Jamaica. Do the other one face London. And they will come to church, keep their hair like this, no cover it. Sometimes they will do their hair like this. So that people will see their hair. Don't be an advertisement in the church. So because of this competition, you see another lady by, by, by side that don't have money to put that kind of move on. He said, hey, I must wear this move on. God help us. In the name of Jesus. So we must come to a place. Sometimes they say, if you are wearing necklace, you are committing sin. As I said it, I came out with that necklace. I don't like necklace. Because I have my administration as an outreach man of God. I have many people that believe God in me, like Mountain of Fire, like Deeper Life, like Lord Choosing, like different churches, eh? different churches, that all of them, they love God, they love my message, and they follow. If I put on necklace now, because the doctrine of their church is against that necklace, they will be disconnected from what God wants to be using me to do for them. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So now, for the sake of the gospel, to win soul for Christ, I decided not to wear the necklace. One day I was going somewhere, I, I carried the necklace, put it in my pocket. I was looking for somebody to dash it. I saw one brother. I said, take the necklace. It will be, it will be. You like it? The man, the man saw it and said, yes, yes. I gave it to him. Up to today, he's wearing that necklace. You can use it to bath. The necklace like that. It cannot rust. Nothing like rust and not like that. You have to wear it. Everywhere he's going, you wear that necklace. And anywhere you see the necklace, sir, you may ask him. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I did not pay money for him. Instead of hanging it in my house without being used. 
Because God wants you to be used. Praise God. If God gives you money and God will invest you to be wearing gold necklace, you wear. God promoted you to be wearing gold chain. Do what? God promoted you to be wearing gold resource. Do what? Yeah, yeah. Because even now, you are living in one room. Do you say I'm blaming you? Yeah? Is it the time you begin to live in two places? They will tell you it's a shit. Yeah? So now you are threatened. Threatened coming to church. No warning. It's not a sin. Yeah? By the time you have convoy, it becomes what? It becomes a sin. When a pastor buys private jets, you become a what? A one pastor. But when a pastor buys what? A bicycle, you become what? A holy man of God. Don't poverty make holiness. Please, if poverty, if holiness is all about poverty, I don't want to be holy. The Bible said, God said, silver is mine. Gold is what? Mine. Is it, is it for Satan? Silver is what? Mine. Gold is what? Mine. What God owes? How come that God will not give me access to enjoyment? If you did not have gold on earth, is he having you wear gold? You think there is necklace in heaven? <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, somebody talk to me. You think there is gold in heaven? necklace in heaven? Is there any shop where they are selling gold in necklace? I want to wear it here. Is there a wear gold? Is there? No, I don't wear any one. You see any wristwatch in my hand now? You think I don't like this wristwatch? And there's some sources that condemn and say, don't wear gold, don't wear a necklace, don't put a new gun, don't do this one. Let me tell you something. Let me tell this pastor something. Amen? Amen. That is my message. You see those things? Those things are not message. Don't wear necklace is not message. Don't we are reborn. It's not message. We don't have message. Don't we are attached. It's not message. Is it not uh, many companies that produce an attack? Attack is produced from water. Attack is produced from the marine that produces under the sea. And they are, they are selling attack. Is it marine sweet that supplies you attach? Okay, you, you, you go to the river, go and bring him. So, you see, of course, they produce the attachment under the river. Eh? They produce under the river, and you are their customer. Because they produce it as uh, in, uh, uh, in the deep sea. So, when you need it, they will not send it. How do they send it? But let me say something here. Do you know that in heaven, in heaven you will not see cement? You will not see this thing in heaven. Do you know that? Nothing like block in heaven, no. you see this thing? You will not see it there. That is why you must see me in heaven. <laughs> Look up here. Nothing like this in heaven. I have been there. God has taken me there. Nothing like this here. Nothing like sand here. The day the Lord took me to heaven, I lay down on the ground to feed dust. I did not find one single sand. On earth, have you seen every king that want to build a house and begin to mold golden block? Have you seen anyone? <laughs> and some people will never understand. And the Bible says that in our in, in heaven there are many mansions. And that mansion from the foundation to the roofing top is made up of gold. My dear, if we condemn gold, that we have the sea. If we go to heaven, will you not be seen? Huh? My dear, if we say gold is a sin, necklace. It's a sin. Any golden thing, any silver something, it's a, it's a sin. Which means the house you are God built for you in heaven is gold. It's a sin. It's a sin. The street where you will travel is made up of what? Do you know that the street in heaven is gold? Sound like gold they used to tidy. Some people say it's probably oh, righteousness is more than money. People that have money, they cannot have that. That is why we know that righteousness is a, is a spiritual currency. That will say that the wicked 
cannot travel there. Hey! Let me tell you, you know, when you die, they will show you the way to heaven. Fear will not allow you to enter because you are not part of that place. You will willingly choose empire. All these things people are saying, hey, when I die, you are just making, you are, you are just deceiving yourself. Because when you die, eh, you are a sinner, you die. You just come up to that place. You see the gate that goes to heaven. Even though they open the gate, fear will not allow you to enter. You say, close it, it's not for me, you will take speed to enter empire. <laughs> because when you die, this your body will perish. You face the reality. But when the right shots come up there, when the right shots want to die, the Lord will send his angel and say, put your house in order. Don't put your house in order is the end of death. I want to die. I don't want to die anyhow. There are some people that die anyhow. I know some preachers, they will not die anyhow. They just call the pastor of their church, of the church, lay hand on them, prophesy to them, prophesy to them. After, I remember one pastor before he died, after praying for his pastors and everybody, pray for his family, his grandchildren, pray for everyone. He was watching like this and said, Glory, 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 glory. He passed away. He passed away. God is so glory, literally. He was shouting, glory, 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 glory. He passed away. He will come. Let me tell you already. God made you to know you will die. And this man of God was an evangelist. He left us for Christ. Heaven is not now. He screamed, glory. His dead body. <laughs> that is good death. That is a good one. So that is the place you see. A body street. You see a born again righteous sight of God. A body street. When he come. Oh. As he was coming up to heaven. You will begin to hear, sing hallelujah, amen. Sing hallelujah, amen. Glory be to God, sing hallelujah, amen. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, Because the born again child of God is coming home. Oh, the born again child of God will be far away. Angels will be jumping and we go the gate. They will come outside to carry him. The same street made of gold. Now, now all the rivers cannot enter. That house that is built with gold. That kind of place that the nations, that the kings of the earth cannot enter. That one again we enter here. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. So we will use God on earth. We will use God in heaven. Even when they bring the golden car, I will drive it. If there is golden car on earth, trust me, I will drive it. Praise God. May the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. So I just use this one to explain to us so that we understand what righteousness is all about. God did not put you in bondage. Africans, they make everything too serious, even when things are not serious. That is why when you go to see a pastor, a prophet, a prophet will like to make you to believe. He said, ah! Mm, I can hear Lord. Mm, Jesus shall mm. they, they want to convince you. If Holy Ghost is better, I don't need him. If Holy Ghost used to better somebody, mm, if Holy Ghost used to better somebody, I don't need that kind of pepper. But 
you see sometimes when things are very, very, you want to make something normal, you can open your eye like this and say, the Lord is saying. You see African preacher and the Western preachers, they are not the same. Yeah? Foreign preachers, they will be laughing like as we are laughing in the church, as we are doing now, still be preaching. But the African will they make everything serious. You know? Praise God. So now we have understand that. Let each and every one of us learn the word of God. And the Lord will bless us. In the name of Jesus. But remember, you should not dress and they will see your inner ways. I saw a sister the other day. I don't know the clothes she wear, whether a mirror gown. I don't know the, the place they used to bring that gown. Eh? I don't know the place they used to bring that gown. Everything about her show. So you cannot tell me that because Bible did not condemn the other. That one is urgent, it's Satan. It's beyond urgent. That one is beyond urgent. Oh, you are a sister. You wear clothes that when you come to church, you begin to see your pants. Begin to see your inner wear. We will cast out devil from you that day. Very soon, we will buy natural chain in the church. When, we, when it is the time of deliverance, we look for ladies, sisters that are naked, they come to church, we will shame them. There are the people to share before we begin to find spirits. When we look at those sisters, how can a sister come to church? And sister, pastor cannot be able to do his face like this. Pastor focus one side like an idol. Like an idol. Because if pastor do his face like this, we will see the inner wear. Pastor do like this. Amen. Like an idol. Even I cannot have an idol in Jesus' name. I cannot have an idol. I know. I must look everywhere I want to look. And whenever I see any sister that is showing her in a way, I will say, Sister, cover your nakedness. It's better. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Righteousness is all about. There are some things that are not written in the Bible that is the will of God. You must do it. I pray for somebody here, you will make heaven. Amen. You will enjoy earth and enjoy heaven. Amen. If you are that person, you up your right hand and receive it. You will enjoy earth. You will enjoy heaven. In the name of Jesus, anyone that says you will not enjoy him here shall give way for you. I am praying the same one under the sound of my voice. You will have enough gold on earth. You will control enough food on earth. And you will also be in the burning house of heaven. In the name of Jesus, I stretch up my hands to you. The Bible says, God belongs to me. See that belongs to me. May God give you gold. May God give you silver. In abundance. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus.